everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make Jack Mackerel Patties. These Jack Mackerel Patties right here, delicious. So easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my Jack Mackerel Patties before. I'm going to make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Of course, you're going to need some Jack Mackerel. So we have two cans of Jack Mackerel here. You're going to need some veggies to make the inside beautiful and also taste delicious. I got a nice sweet Vidalia onion there and a green bell pepper. And of course, you're going to need some breadcrumbs. Any kind of breadcrumbs will do the trick. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to need some butter because we're going to be making some grits alongside of our jack mackerel. So I have some beautiful grits here and over this way you're going to need some milk and we'll talk about what we're going to be using the milk for and a couple of spices. So right here we have some garlic powder, parsley flakes, black pepper and salt and some hot sauce. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious Jack Mackerel patties. They're not going to be dry. They're going to be nice and moist. They're going to be crispy on the outside and nice and fluffy in the inside. Like this recipe right here is definitely a recipe you want to make for your family and friends and all of your loved ones. And guess what? You want to make a lot? because they're gonna come back begging for more. So what I like to do is anytime I'm making a salmon patty or you know a jack mackerel patty or something of the such, um, I like to put bell peppers and onions in it, but there's a trick to it. Let's talk about it really quickly. You must take the bell peppers and onions and pre-cook them. The reason why is because once you make your patties up and you cook them, it doesn't take but a hop, skip, and a jump for them to get cooked. And that means it doesn't take them long to cook. So if it doesn't take your Jack Mackerel patties long to cook, you wanna make sure that you pre-cook the bell peppers and onions because the short of the amount of time that it would take for your Jack Mackerel to cook, the veggies would never get done if you put them in raw. So go ahead and take the time to saute them up in a little bit of butter or a little bit of oil like I'm gonna do. And really it's just a tiny bit of oil just to soften them up a little bit. And what I like to do is is we're gonna saute the onions and bell peppers together and I like to look for the onions to get nice and translucent <clears throat> and what translucent means is they'll become clear in color as soon as that happens we'll get those veggies out of the pan put them in the refrigerator so they can cool down because we don't want to put hot veggies into our jack mackerel patties so now we have the bell peppers and the onions behind me on the larger stove getting nice and sauteed up. But what I would like to do is show you all how you're supposed to handle your jack mackerel or even your salmon. Okay, so now when you get it in the can, you will see some skin on there and this is called silver skin. Honestly, you can leave it on if you want. Me personally, I like to take it off. And like I said, a lot of people like to leave the skin on. The little bit that I can take off, I go ahead and take it off. Now, if you take a look down in the middle, let's go ahead and open it just like so, you will see the uh, bones, okay? And literally, all you gotta do is just move them. Those bones come off. Any little teeny tiny bones, don't freak out about it because it's okay. And a lot of people, they like to leave the bones in. They say, Gina, leave the bones in. It's more vitamins and, you know, the bones are soft and that is true. But here at the Young's house, we like to discard the bones and discard any silver skin that we can take off. So what I'll do off camera is I'm going to clean up my Jack Mackerel just like so. And I'll be back to show you all what we're going to do next. So we've cleaned up our Jack Mackerel and I just have it set it in a bowl. But then I also wanna um, tell you all about the two ingredients that I almost forgot to tell you all about, which is you're gonna need some egg. I feel like egg keeps your Jack Mackerel patty together and it gives it some nice moisture. So we're gonna be using two eggs and then also we're gonna use some flour if I didn't mention the flour that we'll be using today. Now, here's what I wanna do. While we have the veggies behind us cooking, let's go ahead and get started on our grits. I feel like if you're making a Jack Mackerel patty, you almost 
have to have grits on the side. So we're gonna mix them. I have some water in my pan here, and I, I, I don't measure it, guys. Really, I don't. I'm just gonna put the grits in just like so. And when I cook grits for the Young's house, I always like to use water and milk. Sometimes, you'll see me just use milk. I feel like the milk makes it nice and fluffy, beautiful and white. It makes it gorgeous and it tastes nice and creamy. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook these and we're just gonna let them simmer while we put together these amazing Jack Mackerel Patties, Gina Young style. So now what I've done is I've taken our vegetables off of the stove. I put them on a little platter, throw them in the refrigerator so they can cool down. And another reason why you don't wanna put them in hot is because we're putting eggs into our Jack Mackerel Patties and you don't wanna wind up with scrambled eggs, right? So now, when I go in with the breadcrumbs, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't measure, but you don't wanna to put too much in there. I'm serious, okay? So now, breadcrumbs, and those are Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. We're gonna go in and put some black pepper. Don't be shy when it's time to season. You need that season in order for this to taste delicious. So that was salt, a little bit of parsley flakes because it makes everything beautiful, and some salt. Okay, just like so. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put a little bit of hot sauce in there. We love some a good hot sauce on our fish. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put two eggs in, just like so in this manner. If I haven't said I hope that you all are having an amazing day today, I do. I hope you all are having a great day. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried to make Jack mackerel patties yourself, or did you grow up eating them? I love to hear all of the stories that you all tell me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix this up just like so, and when we come back, our veggies will be nice and cool, and we'll incorporate our veggies with this. Remember I told you we wanted to make our grits nice and creamy? This is what you get when you cook it with milk. Look at that, it's like a gorgeous cloud in the sky. Beautifully creamy, but what I wanna do is I wanna put in just a dab of salt, just a little bit, don't get crazy with it, you know, cause if they want more salt, they can put, you know, put it on their self. A little bit of black pepper, and then if you want to, keep on gra uh, grabbing a little bit of milk and pouring some in if you're not happy with the consistency, but this consistency, that's what I'm looking for. And we're just gonna let it simmer the whole time. So now you also seen that on the side, I also like to have some nice sweet corn. And how I like to season my corn up is just, of course, a little bit of water, it's frozen corn, and we're gonna use some salt and pepper, a little bit of sugar, and that's it. Okay, so now the veggies have cooled down in the refrigerator. Here's what we wanna do. You wanna feel the consistency and see if your patty will stick together. I feel like I need some more breadcrumbs, but we'll give it a, take, a, a, a little, uh, test trial here. If you can do this with your patty, this goes, this is the same thing goes for the salmon patty. And you can do that, guess what's gonna happen? When you fry it up in your pan, it's gonna stay together. So I'm actually happy with it, okay? So I just wanna continue to mix it, make sure all my spices are mixed up. We're gonna make up some patties when I come back and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this flour. It gets really interesting. Let's go ahead and make up some patties, okay? And if you have any big lumps in there, just take your fingers and smush it, okay? So let's do this just like so. I like, you know, you can make these teeny tiny. And if you make them tiny, that will be called a croquette. That's what I like to say. But if you make them big like this, like a hamburger patty, then we call them patties. But here's what I like to do. Take a look at my pan really quickly. I wanna show you that I have some vegetable oil in my pan, but guess what? It's not a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot of oil in order for this to be successful. So now that we have our patty, come in over here, guys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn around and gently put flour onto our Jack Mackerel patty. I do the same thing, I know. I do the same thing for my salmon patties. And what I'm gonna actually do, I'm going to attach a video for how I like to make my salmon patties so you all could check out both of the videos. Look at that, lightly seasoned with, or lightly coated with the flour. I just wanna set it here while our oil gets nice and hot. Let's go ahead and make up another one. I couldn't be more excited to share this recipe with you guys because listen, I'm excited about it, number one, because I know 
just how tasty it is. Anybody I make these for, even kids, and you know, it's hard to get kids to eat fish or something like that. They love, love, love this here recipe. So pack it tight, get it nice and packed up, and then once again, get those sides, and then we're gonna flour it. <laughs> Come right on in over here, guys. Ooh, I couldn't be more excited. Be gentle with it. You all know how to be gentle. Look at that. I'm gonna make up a couple more and then I'll be right back. We'll get these babies in that hot oil and I'll show you, it doesn't take long for them to cook. Get the patties right into the oil. That sizzle right there, you must hear it. If you don't, don't put another one in. Wait till it gets nice and hot, okay? Beautiful. Be gentle with them. <clears throat> you wanna wait until they form a nice crust at the bottom before you go messing with them. Now, if you happen to see a crack, it's okay to do a number like this to where you smooth that crack so that it doesn't crack open. Sometimes they do crack open, it just does happen. But not all the time, just be gentle with it. I cannot wait until we flip it over so you can see how beautiful it is. Time to flip them. Now some of you might say, how do you know? When it's time to flip them? Well, you'll know easily because you'll start to see a beautiful golden brown ring towards the bottom and the sides. That's your indication. Go ahead and flip it over. Look at that color. That's what you wanna see. And I'm gonna be honest with you. If you happen to turn yours over and it's not that color, don't worry about it, okay? And the reason why I say don't worry about it is because you can always flip it back over, okay? But just be gentle, okay? Just like so in this manner, you see how I'm using my finger to kind of assist me, you know, with the turnover. Just like that. That is what I call Jack Macro Patties. Gina Young style. Let's get these babies out of the pan. The other side, nice, beautiful, and golden brown. We were nice and gentle with them. And they might, listen, these should never smell fishy. They don't, they don't have a fishy smell. You know, for those of you that's never cooked them or never tasted them, they should not ever smell fishy. If it smells really fishy, toss it out and go get another can. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, listen here. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, I'm gonna have everything plated up. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style. <laughs> what did I make, guys? <laughs> Jack mackerel patties, make you so. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love. The peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at our plate. Take a look at the plate. You got to have the grits, got to have the corn, and I have like some little chipotle sauce here. Let's take a bite. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm just, I just have to cut it. I have to cut it because I am dying for you all to see the inside. First of all, I want you to think about how crispy the outside is. Look at the inside. Oh, ooh wait, I'm going in right now. Like I have to. Ooh, take a bite. Mm -hmm. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So much flavor. Mm. Mm. The two together. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> make you so. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. This is so good.